Hello? Hello? Yeah, hello. How are you? I'm good, Harris. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Oh. What's up? I tried calling you so that we could talk, you know, picking up. I didn't know what the hell button to push, but I tried calling you and you wouldn't answer. But it don't matter because we're talking now, honey. Yeah, I think so. It's nice to meet you. Oh, hell, it's nice to meet you too, sweetums. <laughs> so, can I be privileged to know more about you? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Let me tell you, sugar, I'm single. Now, my first husband, he damn died. He fell out of a tree while trying to hang the Christmas decorations. And my second husband, we divorced about five years ago and sold the business. He was cheating on me with Lur laying down at the Cluckin' Buck. I caught them in my car, so I divorced his ass. And I've been single ever since. Now, what about you, honey? Um, what I can tell about me, I lost my wife um, five years ago. I'm a Mitsuan investment company fund manager. I work with a Mitsuan investment company, so I, I work um, under uh, their consultancy, and um, that's what I do. I'm originally from Sweden, in case you're wondering about my accent. I'm originally from Sweden, but I've been staying here for a long time now, for a couple of months. So I'm getting along with the environment. And um, what do you see here? What do you, what's, your, what's your mission here? Oh, hell, you're from Sweden. I love them pancakes they make down at the Sweden Pancake House. They are so good. My mission, I, I don't know if I have a mission. Good Lord, I joined the Facebook because my son and my friend told me, you ought to join the Facebook and meet a nice man because... I tell you what, honey, I've been alone for so long, there damn some damn cobwebs growing up in me. So I thought, well, hell, I'll come online and just meet some friends. Why why are you on the Facebook? Um actually, um uh since my wife died five years ago, I've not deemed fit to join any any media site, any media social media. I, I I recently decided on my own to check this out because um, I, I, I came to realize that Facebook is uh, an application for anybody who cares. It doesn't hurt. Mm. It doesn't bite. So I, I just felt like I should just um, um, register and see what happens in here. Well, I don't so blame now I, mm. now. So now that I... Now that I did, I think it's giving me opportunity to meet someone who is fun. Do you know you're funny? I love your, I love, you, I love the way you speak. I love the way you talk. I love the way you go about your words. It's amazing. Well, I'm just a humble little country woman from Tennessee. Now, if you don't mind me asking, because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm curious. We have to ask, how did your wife die? <laughs> All the way, it's a sad story, and I had I, I hate remembering that. Mm. I hate remembering that. Uh, uh, she died out of um, cancer of the lungs, and uh, 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 one of her kidney was damaged. I never knew. We never knew. We were all happy living together until one day she collapsed on my arms, and uh, I rushed her to hospital. And the doctor told me that. Uh, one of her kidney it's faulty and she have cancer of the lungs and uh, it can be treated so that's how i lost her what more can i tell you i'm just there you know oh good but, lord you know, it's uh, my life again yeah oh that's so sad now you know them collapsible cancer lungs that happens quite often my third cousin dardine she used to chew the tobacco and she got the lung cancer too and then you know, she had kidney problems because she just nasty. She didn't drink enough water. But, Lord, I just had my kidneys and everything checked. So I'm perfectly healthy, but I'm just old as hell. I hope you don't mind that. Now, tell me, do you have any kids? Yes, I have a daughter. Apparently, I had two kids. One uh, um, 
a boy and a girl, oh. and the boy accidentally died with my alongside with my dad in a car crash accident, and uh, ever since then. Hello. Yeah, my friend, how you there? I'm here. Where the hell did you go? <laughs> she said, "Where the hell did I go?" I, 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 I guess we 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 were disconnected by natural connectivity. Oh. Yeah. Well, ain't that a little pain in the ass? So you were saying your your one son died with your daddy? Your voice just went down. I can hear you clear. You're not audible anymore. You said your one son died with your daddy. Yeah, not one son. That's the only son I had, and she died alongside with my dad on a car crash accident. Good lord, that's horrible. Yeah, sound horrible, but in, you know, I've come to understand in my age that sometimes what happens in life it might not be a coincidental, it might just be how nature wants it. Well, good lord, I guess now. What about your daughter? Oh yeah, she's hard and healthy. She's she's living with my mom in Sweden. In yeah. where? Where's she living? She's living with my mom in Sweden. In Sweden. Sweden. My mom is eighty nine years old. Yes, eighty nine years old. Eighty nine. Good lord. So now, how old your daughter? She's twenty six. Oh well, she's a grown adult. She had to get a little ass out and get her own place. <laughs> oh yes, I thought that's smart, you know. What the hell's wrong with her? Can she get out and get a job? She's still schooling. She's still studying. She's uh, studying um, uh, petrochemical engineering. Uh, she's about getting done with it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, good lord, she's twenty six. She should have been done a long time ago, unless she kind of dumb. But I hope she graduates soon, so she can get out on her own. I told my friend Bardeen, Lord, if I find a man, he better not have some kid laying up playing the Xbox and that kind of bullshit. I hope she could get a job. Yeah. You no, know, the the kind of uh, uh, the subjects you study in school, it's it's a it's a very lubricant one. It's a very it's a very crucial one. And I thought before I could uh, agree on her studying such a course, I I aimed high. I could build a a a consultant company for her to be managing. I could set her up so she don't need to struggle to look for a job or do anything. Her father can keep up to that. Well, I hope so, because I don't want that little little alien living in my house. I mean, if you can afford to get her through school and get her a job, that'd be great. Because, you know, good Lord, my son Kyle, God bless him, he lives down in Miami. And he's a dancer at the Boom Boom Room. I don't know if you heard of that place, but uh, he's a great dancer. Uh, God bless him. He loves Elton John. He wears these little pink sparkly bullshits and he dances for money. He last Christmas, bless him, he bought me the most beautiful, beautiful piece of jewelry from the Walmart. I wear it every day. Slow down, sweetheart. Slow down, slow down. Uh, please, I, I forgot to ask you, how old are you? Sorry to say that. How old am I? Good Lord. I'm older than hell. You should never ask a lady her age, but I'll tell you because I like you. I'm 58 years old. You what? I'm 58. 58. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Now I'm 61. Um, how about our age differences? You don't have any problem with it? You're 61? Good Lord, you look like you're about 40. Is that a current picture of yourself on the internet? <laughs> Honey, believe me, you're funny. You're fun to be with. I can't just wait. I have to pay you a visit in a moment soon. You know, you, you have to, you have to, you have to look me in the face and tell me all that you're saying now because I need to hear them from you. Believe me. Well, hell, get your little ass on one of them United flights. Hopefully, they don't throw you off, and you can come and visit me. Oh yes, I'll come. Well, when are you gonna come? Believe me. Soon.
<laughs> well, what's soon, honey? Hell, I don't play no games. I don't want me no internet, man. I want to find me a man who's going to be with me. I told my neighbor, Charlene, if I find me a man, I ain't moving because I live in the hills of Tennessee. You know, I ain't moving from here. I own my own home. I have my own yard and my car. So if you looking for a relationship, you done got to move here. I don't know what kind of job you can get. I know we're hiring at the dollar store. So, you know, if you serious about having a relationship with me, you better be able to move to me. You understand? Because I'm not moving to Sweden. I don't speak no sweetie land that language i only speak american all right all right <laughs> all right you know what i love your simplicity and your sincerity now i'm telling you this i'm coming to you myself you're not going to move from your mansion baby you're gonna stay there and i'm gonna come and be with you there how about that who the hell said i have a mansion Good Lord, I live in a trailer, but I tell you what, I don't fix that son of a bitch up. It took me 25 years. My trailer is beautiful. So you better get used to it. If you want to live with me, it's going to be in the trailer, but it's a double wide, and it's got a porch, and it's got plastic fencing around the front. Now, I do have six cats. I hope that don't bother you. Very slow that. You don't walk anymore? Any more cats? You don't walk anymore? Any more what? Like your occupation, your your work, your job. You don't do any job anymore? Oh, hell yes, yeah, so I, I know I ain't retired shit. I work seven days a week, sometimes more. It just depends on the schedule. But I work at the Clucking Buck. I don't know if you done heard of the Clucking Buck. It's on Route 5. I love my job there. I done started there 35 years ago, and I still work in there. Good Lord, they made me assistant manager of the French fries. Lord, I love my job. I get the same customers every day. I get to do the same thing. Now, I was on disabilities for about a year, five years ago, because a damn done slipped on the lard, and I hit my head and knocked the french fry over. Good Lord, the grease went the other way. Thank Lord, otherwise I'd have wrinkled ass skin all burned up and shit. But anyway, yeah, I was on disability for a year. And then I went back and they saved my job for me and I made employee of the month. I was so happy. I got a bonus. I was just, oh, and they were going to put my name up on the front menu. It was so great. Okay. All right, darling. Um, One more question. Sure, what you want to ask? <laughs> what kind of car are you using? What's the name of your car? I call my car Bessie because she runs so good. I drive a 90. Well, I've got what? Listen, listen, you know, you know why I asked you what kind of car it is because you speak fast and I presume your car will move so fast as you. Now, let me tell you something. I'm liking you. Do you communicate in email? Do you have an email? I probably do. I'd have to ask my son because he doesn't sign me up for all these Facebooks and all this stuff. Uh, I don't, I have two cars, if that's what you was asking me. I have a 1984 Ford Pinto, it's green, and I done had custom carpet put in it, kind of shaggy, and I got these little dingo balls that hang from the mirror. Oh, good Lord, when I drive that thing, shut up, when I drive, I'm talking, I'm talking. When I drive that thing through town, good Lord, it's, everybody's like, who oh, is jamming with that 1984 Pinto? I'm asking about that. I'm asking about that. Listen, cool down. Relax. I, what? I, I am relaxed. It, it sounds like you're not. <laughs> I'll just have me a cigarette. Go ahead, honey. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> I'm liking you now. So... What I said before, you have to find a way to get email. You have any WhatsApp? Any like WhatsApp? You chat on WhatsApp apart from Facebook. A what's what? I don't know what that is, honey. Oh, mm, I forgot I asked you when you said you don't know what that is. Okay, what about us talking on cell phone? How about that? I got a phone, yes, in my kitchen. When you gonna come now, are you really serious that you like me? Because I don't want to play with no player, honey. I'm too damn old to be playing the fields. 
now I'm telling you this. Fuck any fucking player. Understand? I don't want to play with anybody and I don't want anyone to fucking play with me. I'm liking you and I'm gonna fuckingly be with you. Good you Lord, don't... what's with the F words? Jesus Christ almighty on a cracker. Please don't swear I'm a Christian. So now, what I'm telling you is this. You do what you have to do. Get me your digits. Now I'll hit you up as soon as possible. You gonna and hit me? Hey, what? You gonna hit me? Hell no, you ain't gonna hit me. My first husband hit me. I beat his damn ass in the front yard. Don't you ever tell me you're gonna hit me. Honey, I didn't mean physical exchange. I mean hit you up. Let's chat you up. Send you a test on your phone. Come on. Be branded, you know. <laughs> I like you a lot. I like you a lot. Just a few minutes conversation with you and I right now has been like we've been talking for ages. I know, and that's right? what we call mutual mutual accordance, mutual understanding. We should meet. Can you I mean, I know this is so sudden because we just met on the internet and everything, but would you be interested in coming to my barbecue next weekend? Um, then I have to check on my schedules mm. and um, know how I can cope up with that because I'm 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 always busy. Yeah, well, I'm always we're, busy. We're having chicken. Is that? We're having chicken. <laughs> I've been busy doing what I have to do as a man. Like mm. you said, your mm. stepdaughter will have to get a new life after she's done with school. Mm-hmm. You know, my my daughter, her, her, name, her name is Diana. She 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 have to get a new life, a better life when she's done with school. So her dad has to work hard and uh, get that fixed before she's done. So that's what I've been doing here. I I try, I try doing what I have to do as a man. So I'm always busy and I don't have my own company for now. So um, this is what we'll do. I have to check on my schedules and no one to be convenient for me to come and visit you, even if it's a day. But if you would ask me, I would tell you that we should take this thing slow. We just met and then check on each other very well to be sure of what we want. Then then um, consider our state of uh, uh, mutual understanding and um, assess ourselves the more. Then uh, get acquitted well, know what we like and what we dislike, and uh, 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 what we what we what we do as a hobby, our our fun time, our game, what we do, you know, some things we need to do and understand about each other. Then after that, I will think of uh, getting uh, retired from the work I'm doing to be with you full time because I don't want to serve you. You're a queen. I can feel that from your voice. So I don't want to serve you half. I want to give you whatever you want full. So you just uh, have to relax. It's gonna take like two weeks. I'm two, taking I'm telling I'm telling you now, it's gonna take like two weeks. What the hell? And we will be what the hell? Two, two weeks. weeks. Two weeks. What? What's taking you two weeks? You guys decided you're gonna come to a damn barbecue. It takes you two weeks. What the hell? I'm looking for a date for the barbecue. Cause my friend Linda yeah, she going to bring a man, and I don't want to be without a man at the barbecue because they're going to be like, this jam is, she ain't got a man yet. Yeah, I don't want that. Now, would, would you, look, is it a problem like with work? You just don't have the authority to get off, or do you need some money? What's the deal, honey? Do you, I mean, hell, I'll buy you damn flight if that's the problem. You don't have to worry. Or is it just that work ain't going to let you off because you're just a little peon? Oh, you are throwing me overboard. Now, this is what we're going to do. <clears throat> are you listening to me? Hell yes, I'm listening to you. Go ahead. That's my queen. I'm your queen. Good Lord, I love to be a queen. Oh, God. I've never been called a queen before. I've been called a lot of names. <laughs> but I've never been called a queen. You so the way. Because you just crammed me with a lot of book goosebumps right now. So that's why I called you my queen. You just crowned me with a lot of goosebumps. I could just feel myself being loved again. Goosebumps? Oh, good Lord, goosebumps. Are you sure it's not warts? Don't you don't tell me if you have them warts. Oh no, it's not. It's not. Okay, good. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just pushed. I can't just 
keep it close. I'm loving you. I'm no longer liking you. I'm loving you. Oh, you love me. Oh, my Lord, you love me. Oh, God, you're just making a, my, my butterflies spinning around in my tummy. I don't think it's gas. It's butterflies, honey. You love me. Oh, I, you know what? I, I, I'm talking. I think I love you, too. <laughs> hey, hey. Hello, my queen. Listen, I didn't say I love you. I said I think I am loving you. Love oh, you oh, you not sure? Okay. Well, God, I feel like such a fool. Well, that's fine. Well, if you don't want to be with me, it's okay. I mean, there's a lot of other men on the internet that want to talk to me. Good Lord, I have like five military men. One of them told me he's gonna take a leave and come and see me. So, I mean, if you ain't wanting to meet me, and I, it's okay, honey. Oh, okay. You would test me your, your um, number, and I will hit you later. You're going to hit me again. Stop with this hitting business. Good Lord, don't hit me. Why would you hit me? Even if you, shut up, I'm talking. Even if you don't love me. Why would you want to hit me? <laughs> I said, I'll test you up later. I said, I'll test you. You're going to what? I'll test you later. You test me? <laughs> what? What is this business? I'm, look, look, I'm too damn old to be playing around with some man that wants to sit there and tell me, I want to get to know you. I want to know what you like. Do you eat toast in the morning or do you eat a big chocolate piece of pie? I ain't got time for this kind of bullshit. I want a man who knows what he wants. Whether you want to come to my barbecue, you want to meet me, meet me in person if you want to get to know me. I don't want to do this. Oh, hi, honey. What did you eat today? Oh, no, hell no, honey. I want a real man. Look, if you're not ready for commitment, so you're scared or you just can't handle me, that's fine. Just be honest. Honey, I am honest with you. If you if you listen to my voice right now, I'm I'm more calm right now because I'm 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 more serious and I mean what I'm telling you right now. Mm -hmm. I I'm interested in you, all right. And the in sense of maturity, you would see it a little bit a little bit too early. Us meeting, we just spoke a couple of minutes now, seventeen minutes, nineteen seconds now. That's what we just spoke before. So right now, and I don't think 17 minutes, 25 seconds is enough for us to just jump into each other, each other's arms. I don't, I'm not looking for one night stand. No, no, no. Well, who said anything about a one night stand? Good Lord, what kind of woman do you think I am? You ain't getting into these cotton britches no time soon, buddy. I like to date for months before I let a man see my undesirables. Uh, what do you think one night stand? What, are you crazy? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to verify here. So I won't be judging myself. So now, I beg you, I plead with you, honey, my queen. <laughs> the sweetest <laughs> in life. Sweet apple. I love you so much. I'm telling you this from the bottomless of my heart. Now, what you have to understand is this. I'm doing my business here. I'm just working and I have a lot of things to get done with. So I if you just respect our unity and give me a little bit time to wind up. Don't mind any other man who'll be telling you that they're coming to take leave and be with you. No. I'm the man for you. You can feel that, right? You're the man for me. Oh yes. Well honey, can I tell you something? Okay. Now I I I tell you I Really love the way you look. I think you done gorgeous, man. You say such sweet things. And you just butter my biscuit with your tender, tender, loving words. And uh, I, I tell you, I'd love for you to come here and see me. I'd love to embrace you in my beautiful arms. But you know what? I gotta tell you something, okay? Tell I'm talking! I wanna tell you something! Are you listening? 
Harris! Hey!